legendary footballer Diego Maradona passed away at the age of 60 on November 25, 2020. He lived a colorful sports life, full of victories, adventures, and scandals. In the Argentine city of Lanus on October 30, 1960, a baby boy was born, who was destined to become one of the greatest soccer players in the world. Diego was the fifth child in the family and the only boy. The passion for playing with a ball at Diego appeared at an early age. But then he more often had to mold jugs to help the family earn money. However, at the age of nine, he has already become a member of the Argentinos Juniors. And another year later his name appeared in the press. At the age of 17, Maradona has already played for the Argentine national team. However, at the World Cup itself, he was not taken, which was a tragedy for him. Then he began to play for the Spanish Barcelona, and after he was transferred to the Italian Napoli. The best tournament in the sports career of Maradona can rightly be considered the World Cup, which took place in 1986 in Mexico. During the match Argentina, England soccer player scored a goal with his hand. The whole stadium was a witness to this event, but only the referee thought that Maradona played with his head. Then the athlete said that the ball was scored by the hand of God. At the same match, just four minutes after the goal, Maradona held the goal of the century, beating several opponents and sending the ball into the net. After that triumph, Maradona lived a phenomenal and scandalous life as an athlete. Four years later, he tested positive for doping, and traces of cocaine were found in the soccer player's blood. One day Maradona and his friends were arrested by the police for drug possession. His sports career began to be interrupted by disqualifications for long periods. Eventually he stopped playing altogether and tried his hand at coaching. But even in the new field Maradona was not lucky. His wards were not able to achieve success. In 2019, he underwent surgery due to bleeding in the stomach. In November this year, he was hospitalized again and underwent surgery after a brain hemorrhage. According to his ex-girlfriend Rocio Oliva, Maradona's health problems are related to excessive alcohol consumption. Maradona has three children out of wedlock, whom he did not recognize until their mother sued. And in Italy, the soccer player was accused of failing to pay $40 million in taxes. In 2012, FIFA held a vote on the best soccer player of the XX century. Network users called Maradona the strongest footballer of the century. According to the FIFA results, it was Pelé. In the end, the organizers gave the award to two athletes. Pierre Carden, a French fashion designer of Italian descent, became known for his love of avant-garde style. Pierre liked geometric lines in clothing and disdained feminine soft outlines. Carden became one of the founders of the unisex style. Carden was born on July 2, 1922. His family lived in the Italian town of San Biagio di Colalta in Italy. During World War I, his parents, who were winemakers, lost their fortune. In 1924, they decided to move to Saint Etienne in France. In 1945, Pierre went to Paris, the capital of high fashion. There he worked with the famous fashion designer of the time Elsa Schiaparelli. After that, his career rapidly went upward. In 1947, Carden became a leading designer at Christian Dior. For three years, the young man adopted the experience of the famous in the world of high fashion maestro, studied the profession, designed his own outfits. However, since childhood Pierre dreamed of being an independent couturier and opening his own production. Therefore, in 1950 Carden founded his own fashion house. In 1952, the world saw his first collection which was so futuristic that it caused a shock to the thrifty and modest consumers of the post-war years. The following year, Pierre opened the first Eve boutique and introduced the bubble dresses that made him world famous. At the end of the 1950s, he began to collaborate with Japan and China, becoming one of the first European designers to develop their business in countries behind the Iron Curtain. In 1957, Pierre became the first fashion designer to take on men's fashion clothing. 
In 1959 the designer had his first Pret-a-Porter collection for women in the Printemps department store in Paris. After that Pierre was excluded from the syndicate of Haute Couture. However, it was due to this that Cardin began to be associated with the democratization of French fashion, so he actively developed the Pret-a-Porter line. Working hard, Cardin gathered a staff of 200 people around him and won the love of many famous personalities. His outfits were worn by Eva Perón, Jacqueline Kennedy, the First Ladies of Argentina and the USA, actresses Rita Hayworth, Gilda, and Bridget Bardot, The Truth, members of the Beatles. The legendary fashion designer died December 29, 2020 in an American hospital in Paris at the age of 98. Sir Thomas Sean Connery born August 25, 1930 Fountainbridge is a British actor and film producer. Best known as the first actor to play British secret agent James Bond in a film, he starred in seven Bond films, the first five films, From Dr. No to You Only Live Twice, plus Diamonds Are Forever and Never Say Never, between 1962 and 1983. Throughout his career he appeared in more than 70 films. Connery started out acting in inexpensive movies and television until his breakthrough role as Bond. Although he disliked the behind-the-scenes attention he received with this role, success brought Connery offers for serious dramatic roles from famous directors such as Alfred Hitchcock, Sidney Lumet, and John Huston. Some of the actor's most significant films were, Marnie, 1964, The Hill, 1965, Murder on the Orient Express, 1974, The Man Who Wanted to be King, 1975, A Bridge Too Far, 1977, Highlander, 1986, The Name of the Rose, 1986, The Untouchables, 1987, Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, 1989, The Hunt for Red October, 1990, Heart of the Dragon, 1996, The Rock, 1996, and Finding Forrester, 2000. Connery ended his acting career in 2006, although he returned briefly in 2012 to voice a role in an animated film. His achievements in film have been recognized with an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor in the gangster drama The Untouchables, two BAFTA Awards, three Golden Globe Awards and the Cecil B. DeMille Award. He was made a Chevalier de l'Ordre de Arts et de Lettres in France in 1987 and received the Kennedy Center Prize in 1999. Connery was knighted in 2000 for services to screenwriting. He died in his 91st year of life on October 31, 2020.